I want to go back over the uh, Himalaya Mountains here because uh, in plate tectonics the Himalaya Mountains are supposedly the result of two plates colliding right here um, why it's shaped like a half circle I don't know what a collision would have to do with that but um, also I wanted to take a close look here and show you that that uh, this doesn't look like a collision to me unless collisions are the result of high voltage this is definitely not from water erosion and uh, you you can tell that because uh, the, a lot of the feeder streams are set at 90 degrees of the river and that's usually not the result of water erosion that's electrical electrical likes to do that but uh, also in plate tectonics um, a collision like this would be unique right um, if you have a collision like this uh, there shouldn't be another uh, image or, or uh, a surface feature that resembles it anywhere else on the planet it should be a one-of-a-kind because that's what what plate tectonics is based on basically everything's one of a kind but what I've discovered is that that the planet the surface features on our planet are all reoccurring patterns and they all can be lined up which then says that plate tectonics is inaccurate because uh, you can't have reoccurring patterns like that in plate tectonics and I'll use this mountain range as an example Okay, um, check this out as I bring this up. That'd be trippy if that was the eye of a vortex right there. But, uh, because it's kind of shaped like one a little bit. But, uh, watch as I bring this up. It's going to go this way. Sorry, it goes like this. Okay, it goes up. You can see um, as it goes up, you can see that this fits into here. And then I continue to bring it up. This goes up into here, whatever, as this goes up. And you can see that when I hit it, when I get this close to here, you can see what looks like a waterfall like two waterfalls running down and over the Himalaya mountains and where they run to it's discolored okay and then you have an overspill over here on this side but as I line this up with the Himalaya mountains which shouldn't line up with anything because they're made by a once-in-a-lifetime collision but you can see that that's not the case here as that lines up to verify this alignment you can see these little notches right here you can see how they they fit they fit the uh, peaks and you could bring it up even further to where it droops into it like that okay so then so this is happening see this is material coming out here see how it's all droopy and and stuff um, this is even there's an overspill here and you can see this is lining up with it and then what I think happens is let's get back for this see that's how reoccurring patterns work. You can take something that makes the Himalaya Mountains and then make India from it. And this is why um, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Um, this uh, this information that I'm showing you, uh, I, it gar I, it's guaranteed to discredit plate tectonics. And um, that's because I'm actually showing you how how this planet was created with its own features it's something that plate tectonics can't do because plates 
don't allow for that. But I'm showing you that plates can't be here because this is from somewhere else. I'm showing you that this and this were in the same spot at one time. So they can't be fixed to different plates or different parts of a plate if they were together at one time. Uh, they're just, it's common sense um, that there can be no plates after the evidence that I showed you in the other videos recently and this video for sure. Um, this is an accumulation of evidence that I can, I can verify that all, uh, um, all land masses came from the same origin. Everything's going to be coming from this. This is the beginning. Everything comes from this and this right here. There's no getting around that. And I can prove it all day long because everything matches up in here. Everything does. So this can't be a made by collision because it was made by this. And I can tell you this, I don't have nothing to worry about with this. Um, you can't, it can't be taken out. You know, this is a, this is pretty solid. I mean, maybe, maybe it's something that we don't know about. Maybe it could be not a vortex and some kind of phenomenon we're not aware of. It could be that. But so far, I'm seeing rotation and rotation and rotation and electricity. And I'm still, I'm saying it's electromagnetic. It's that simple. I don't need to make up dark matter or anything like that to figure this one out. Okay, here's the Himalayas again, and this time we have a special alignment. This right here is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Right here, this running right there. And I hope we can see this right. I think it needs to be darker. Okay, so... This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge right here. You can, you can see it. It's that light line, I guess. <laughs> and um, you can see that this fits right up into there. And you can see that you have that same thing that you had hanging down when I showed you India coming out of that. But if you look close, you can see that this does line up with the features on the mountain range. Hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, you see? You see how it fits the, the contours right here? like that right there and then of course you got what looks like is the beginning of an overspill but actually I think it's a uh, more like the dropping of a vortex But see that anyway. So, and if you don't, and if you don't think that that's an alignment, um, go ahead and do one yourself, and then see it. And it is perfect. It's a good alignment, actually. It's really good. See how it fits into there. But let's go further. We got. Then we have South America. You can see that the, there's this hook right here, kind of. And then you got this area, of course. And this does rotate in. But you see this is the overspill here. And you see that where the overspill is, there seems to be a little lip right here. And then you got your... Right here this thing right here that's dropping down you can see this this is the beginning of it a 
how you can see I'm off an angle look right here so let me just rotate it a hair oh, this is interesting I didn't plan on this but because I rotated it okay uh, yeah I rotated it uh, to match the angle here um, and you can see that you got these what I call filaments running here and you you bring this down and this hits about there and then this hits the first row of filaments see how it fits around the corner there a little bit and then it just drops in and you can see that this is the beginning of that uh, that overspill these uh, the Himalayas are are the electrical result of these filaments that I claim are filaments see if there's anything else I can I mean this kind of look this does look like it's spilling out into here this does look like something broke away from it in there pretty good I think I think it fits in there excellent actually but uh, you know I'll probably do another video on this where I so I have more time um, where I, I'll go into real good details because I know this is a good one right here actually I could tell this is gonna answer some questions I can tell right now Anyway, so let's uh, move on. Perfect. Uh, so that's one, and then two. See, now that this fits there, then I predict it should fit in here too. And I think it does. I just think I have to rotate it a little bit. Actually, I'm sure it does look. It might even flip. I bet you it flips around. Or it flips like that, I think. Oh, see, there you go, like this. Yeah, it looks like it flips. It goes around, uh, flips, because uh, it's a. This is a vortex. Uh, this is the result of a vortex, and not only that, the um, this could be the backside of it. There's a, That's what I'm running into a lot. I'm getting the backside of of land masses, so everything will be reversed. And you can see that this is t rotating and twisting right here. See there you go. See how it just fits right in there, and it's and it's like I said, it's rotating and spinning. It's electrical. It's a this is a, a filament. Has to be. And that's the Mid Atlantic Ridge. Okay, and then we got South America here.
Mm. I know I'll have to figure this out more, but I know that the Himalaya Mountains is related to these mountains right here because um, it's the same length. It just has more of a curvature. And when I straighten it up and line it up with this, you can see that um, these features in the background um, seem to be related to those islands. Right there and stuff. So, like that. Um, but I know that they are related because uh, you don't get mountain ranges that are the same length and the same width and and, and not be related somehow. That's a, the odds of that happening are like <laughs> you have a better chance of being hit by a planet but um, so I know that there, this is that but you know but there's more so and you can see that this spill out kind of fulfills uh, up here too so there's some reason this is curving up for whatever reason but it's it's part of the evolution of, of the planet and okay this one you can see the Himalayas through here because um, this one is a little bit different than the other ones um, but you can see that when I line this up you can see that there's things that, that line up with that as I pull it in um, this right here this could be related to that that point right there I think it is actually I think it's part of the beginning of a spillover or something but uh, this basin is is something that I want to look into though later Cause you, you got this peak right there, or whatever. It kind of looks like this one right here, yeah, right there. It's something I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll go into greater detail in another video, but but for now. And then there's Lake Tahoe lining up with. this well this peak right here it looks like looks like <laughs> looks like a gnarly peak but um, yeah so that's that okay correction I think I think this is another reversed because um, when I flipped it around reversed as a matter of fact I'm sure of it because I believe it reverses up uh, north too up by Alaska but but you can see as I pull this in, you can see this feature. And you can see this kind of just makes more sense this way. See how it goes into line? That's what that's what's going on here. Because now it makes sense. And you know what's funny is that these uh looks looks like uh lightning jamming across here when you line this up it lines up with the the, the these notches or whatever on the other side too so I'm probably going to do another video on these harder areas to, to show because uh, I'm just not I don't have the time right now to do it but I will later, and I guarantee you when I do that I will find a way that these match.